This video discusses the second method or second technique in analyzing the normal form of a game, which is the Nash equilibrium. What is the Nash equilibrium? A Nash equilibrium is a strategy for each player such that every player's action is the best response to the other player's actions. Here, each player is using his best response in the game. So which means for every action of his opponent, there will always be a counter-attack. Now, in the Nash equilibrium, switching into another strategy or switching from your best response would result into a lower payoff for the player. In other words, no player can reach a better payoff by changing strategies. This solution concept was named after John Forbes Nash Jr. His theories are used in economics and in fact, he won the Nobel Prize for Economic Sciences in 1994. His life is actually shown in the film, A Beautiful Mind. Let us discuss the Nash equilibrium using an example. Let us consider again the normal form of the working on a project game which was discussed in the previous video. So let us determine any Nash equilibrium of this game. So recall that in the working on a project game, each of the players has two strategies, either to work hard or to take it easy. The payoff values that you see from this table represent happiness levels or satisfaction levels. So again, if the row player would work hard and the column player would take it easy, the row player would get zero and the column player would get three. In the Nash equilibrium, each player should always have a counter attack to whatever strategy thrown in by the opponent. So here are the steps to determine the Nash equilibrium of a game. So first step, determine the best response of the row player to every strategy of the column player. To do this, Underline the highest payoff value among the first coordinates of the ordered pairs in each column. So we're underlining the first coordinates because the first coordinates belong to the row player. If there are ties, we underline all. For the second step, we determine the best response of the column player to every strategy thrown in by the row player. So to do this, we underline the highest payoff value among the set of coordinates of the ordered pairs in each row. If there are ties, we underline all. The third step is, if there are ordered pairs with both coordinates underlined, then the game has a Nash equilibrium. So again, let's take a look at the normal form of the working on a project game. To determine the Nash equilibrium of the working on a project game, let us assume the role of the role player. We determine the role player's counter-attack to all the strategies of our classmate, the follow player. Suppose our classmate would work hard. In this case, we get either 2 or 3. Of course, we want a happiness level of 3. So our best response is to take it easy when our classmate would work hard. So in this case, we underline the first coordinate 3. So now what would be our best response if our classmate would take it easy? If our classmate would take it easy, we get either a happiness level of 0 or a happiness level of 1. Of course, we shall choose a happiness level of 1. So therefore, if our classmate would take it easy, our counter-attack is to take it easy as well. So in this case, we underline the first coordinate, 1. Now this time, let us assume the role of the classmate or of the colo player. So suppose that the classmate thinks that the role player would work hard. So that means the classmate would get either a happiness level of 2 or a happiness level of 3. So this means that the classmate would choose a happiness level of 3, so his counter-attack is to take it easy. So in this case, we underline the second coordinate 
3. Now suppose that the classmate thinks that his opponent would take it easy. In that case, classmate gets either a happiness level of 0 or a happiness level of 1. Of course, the classmate would choose a happiness level of 1 which corresponds to take it easy. So his counter attack or the classmate's counter attack is to take it easy. So in this case, we underline the second coordinate, 1. Since there is an ordered pair wherein both coordinates are underlined, that means the working on a project game has a Nash equilibrium. And the Nash equilibrium is take it easy, comma, take it easy. And this corresponds to the ordered pair 1, comma 1. Let us have another example. So let us consider again the Battle of the Sexes game in the previous video. Recall that in the Battle of the Sexes game, the two players are husband and wife, and their strategies is to either choose to watch a sports program or a TV series. So here is the payoff table of the game. Again, the values that you see in the table represent happiness levels or satisfaction levels. So to analyze this game, what would be the husband's best response if the wife chooses the sports program? So in here, we are assuming the role of the husband. So if the wife chooses the sports program, husband gets either 2 or 0. So husband should choose sports program to get a happiness level of 2. Next. What would be the husband's best response if the wife chooses the TV series? So if the wife chooses the TV series, husband gets either a happiness level of 0 or a happiness level of 1. In this case, the husband should choose happiness level of 1. So we underline the first coordinate 1. Now let us assume the role of the wife or the column player. So let us suppose that the wife thinks that her husband chooses the sports program. In that case, the wife gets either a happiness level of 1 or a happiness level of 0. In this case, the wife would choose the sports program to get a happiness level of 1. So we underline the second coordinate, 1. Now this time, the wives think that her husband would choose the TV series. In this case, Wife gets either a happiness level of 0 or a happiness level of 2, which means wife should choose a happiness level of 2. So we underline the second coordinate, 2. Now observe that there are two ordered pairs where both coordinates are underlined. So this means that there, there is more than one, or there are more than one Nash equilibria. And this corresponds to sports comma sports and TV series comma TV series. So the solution leads to the pay of pairs 2 comma 1 and 1 comma 2. So it is logical that there would be two Nash equilibria in this battle of the sexes game. It's because to avoid having conversation or having a fight between the husband and wife, then one of them should make a sacrifice. So that's why they have to decide to choose only one program for them to be at peace. Now let us determine the Nash equilibrium of the prisoner's dilemma scenario. So in here, let us assume the role of player number one. So we think that player number two would confess. So in this case, we compare negative 10 and negative 25. So player 1 should choose negative 10. Now if player 2 would remain silent, player 1 gets either negative 1 or negative 3. So player 1 should choose negative 1. Now, this time, let us assume the role of player number 2. So if player 2 thinks that player 1 would confess, then player 2 gets either negative 10 or negative 25. In this case, negative 10 is better than negative 25. Now, if player 2 thinks that player 1 would remain silent, player 2 gets either negative 1 or negative 3. 
and negative 1 is better. Now, in this case, there is only one ordered pair where both coordinates are underlined, and this corresponds to player 1 confessing and player 2 confessing. So this means that the Nash equilibrium of the Prisoner's Dilemma game is for both players to confess, and this corresponds to the ordered pair negative 10, comma, negative 10. So this ends the video about Nash equilibrium. The next video would discuss another method or technique in solving the normal form of a game.